What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So we finally, finally, finally have in-hand photos of Prime One's highly coveted Jungle Hunter one-third scale statue. Although I would argue this is not one-third, and it's actually more like one and two and a half. You know, it's not quite half scale, but it's not one-third, it's in between. And here is the assembly line. You see four of them right there, although there's a thousand of these. From this initial pick, everything looks awesome. Uh, then we got some more photos here. So these photos, it looks amazing. Uh, the base, freaking massive. Look how deep that Jupiter is. Oh my goodness. Like he's definitely is quite a deep piece. He's decently wide as well, but definitely super deep. You know, the dreads are very glossy. They are pretty close, like not as spread apart as the cinema kept but that's fine uh you know different scene more or less but the body also looks quite glossy right there the portrait everything looks good here's a size comparison next to a human hand at least i assume it's human from these pictures everything's looking really freaking good you have a light up cannon that is something that the Cinema Cat does not have, and then this right here. Look at that. So you get actually two different masks you can display. There's one that's uh, it's actually very similar to my mask right there, and then there's like a detailed one as well. So you get two different masks, which is cool, although I would not display both masks on the base. That's ridiculous. But that, uh, outside of the additional mask, looks really cool. I love the you know, spine cord trophy he's holding, I would display that permanently. Although I do not like the blades out like that. I think that looks ridiculous. You know, I plan to display this fist, that probably closed, and then him holding that with the masthead. Here's some chest detail. Again, looks really well done. The skulls look decent. Uh, not bad by any means. Here's the netting. Netting looks good. I like the glossy paint app. The skull looks decent. Proto was a little bit better. Here is the water effect. And this looks really good because you can see some like different fish. And what almost looks like leaf petals, the rocks, the trees. It looks very well done. You know, you got attention to detail here. This little scorpion, which I think is great. You know, it kind of resembles when I believe it was Mac who stabbed the scorpion with a knife in the movie. So, very awesome. Now, there was some earlier in hands as well. Uh, like, yeah, let's check these out. So, look at this. This, actually, that's too big. This is ridiculous. Look how big it is. Now, it could just be, I don't know, maybe one is closer to the camera or not. I mean, this is 32 inches. This is advertised as like 35.9, nearly 36. But just look at the girthiness of the legs. I mean, if you compare the head size, they're almost similar, but just Prime One's body, it looks so much bigger. The base, they look about equal in width, but this one's definitely deeper. But it's just that height. It's like, oh my goodness, look how much taller he is. It is quite a bit taller, like noticeably bigger. That it just does not look like, I wouldn't want a pair of these, you know, cause it... I think this pairs better with the P2 City Hunter, which is the same size. But even next to, like, any of my other one-third skills, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that's just, that's really going to work. Here's some additional photos. They look like professional photography done. Because ones where we haven't seen it super professionally done, it didn't look quite as good. But everything here looks great. You know, I know, I want to show you guys the first photos that kind of came out as well. Um, I don't know even know if it's on statue forum. Oh, yeah, like, look at this. Now, this I do not dig. Uh, I mean, obviously, lighting plays a huge role, and their lighting is absolute garbage. You know, and here's a size comparison next to Cinema Cat. And again, this lighting is making Cinema Cat look bad as well, where in person, Cinema Cat is amazing. So... I mean, this is really just, you don't want to judge, like, the detail and paint app off this type of photo. You're looking at the size. And when you look at the size, they almost look in scale. This looks a little bit bigger. Like, you know, the teeth are a little bit bigger. Forehead's a little bit bigger. There's the mask's difference. You know, and there are different color grays. This is, like, a lighter gray, darker gray. 
the hand size difference, you know, this is obviously bigger. And yeah, I mean, you also have to keep in mind that Cinema Cat is a 10 year old statue. It's aged. But these first initial photos, like when I saw this, I was like, ooh. You know, because it's like you can't see the brown dots very good. The vein work in the mouth looks, you know, just like someone got a little pen and drew in it. So I, I don't like those photos. You know, and that's what the movie looks like. So that's, you know, look at the vein detail there in that mouth. You see how good that looks? That is what you want to get. That is kind of what you get on custom, like life-size bus made by like Mike Studholm, for example. He's able to achieve this exact look. And I do think Prime One's one-third is the best Jungle Hunter Predator statue to achieve the overall look. Yeah, here are some additional photos. Like this photo, not very good at all. I mean, heck, it's freaking blurry for goodness sakes, but... Not very good. Yeah, and that, I do not dig that photo at all. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. So, uh, you know, I was kind of questioning, like, oh my gosh, I don't like that at all. But, you know, I'm glad Prime 1 released some additional photos. You know, like, here is a Cinema Cat vs. the One Force Sideshow. Yeah, he's 90 centimeters tall, which is just super tall. But... I mean, here's the thing. Overall, I think it looks amazing. I think in general, everyone that's going to get this statue is going to be very happy with it. Uh, it's going to be a beast, a centerpiece. It's going to be incredibly impressive. It's going to have so many switch outs, which is, you know, a huge plus. Like with my Cinema Cat, the only thing I can really do to change the look of this statue is open this, which has a like a light up feature, but I can open that. I don't have any batteries inside, you know, but you can basically like open this. Okay, that's a little bit look. And then I added that bloody spine to my base. I, you know, you can add stuff to it, but I, there's not like, I can't take out this hand to put a new hand or take off the portrait and do a new portrait. You know, I am stuck with this look pretty much permanently outside of opening this or adjusting some of these skulls. So, that is the huge advantage to Prime 1, like right from the get-go, is accessories. Accessories are huge for me. It allows you to change the entire look of your statue, for the most part. In addition, it is bigger. Now, bigger doesn't necessarily mean better, but in most cases it does, as long as the detail is there. And based off the professional photos with good lighting, I think... The detail is there. I think Prime 1 did a fantastic job, and I'm very excited. However, due to the size discrepancy, I don't think it can go in this display. You know, I originally had planned, actually, to put it right here where I have the Zerker Predator. And I can only imagine, you know, Prime 1 is probably going to go to that freaking window. I mean, that's 35 inches tall, so, I mean, technically it's going to be about that tall. But still, it's going to make everything else, like, diminish how good they are. You know, and all these statues on their own are just freaking amazing. I don't want to diminish their effects. So I feel like Prime 1 is best displayed separately from this main display. Now, I just put this here because I want to see how everything looked. Because I really do love a long line of one-third scale statues, you know, for Predators. I just think it looks so awesome. I've been even debating if I want to lower Wolf Bust, you know, and... I've considered maybe doing Wolf Bust right there with Wolf One Third there. And, you know, I want to line up of all my statues above. I just think that's so cool. Ideally, I'd love to do all life size beneath and then all statues above. But I don't know if I can pull that off. I definitely have to move Legend. Uh, but I don't think I can do Prime One on this wall. And here's the thing if I get Queen Big Chat Bust, which I have pre ordered, uh, I don't, you know, if I was to do a whole line of just Predator and Alien, like one-third with a few one-fourths, the bust wouldn't work there and it can't go down low. So I've come to the conclusion that for the Prime 1 Jungle Hunter, I'm going to put it right here. It's going to be, I mean, I'm going to move this over, but it, it needs to be on a separate display, like right here. It's going to have huge height presence. I'll be able to put all the heads next to it. And I, I think that's the best thing. It's a centerpiece type statues. You know, it has the presence. It has the detail. It's a statue worthy of being on, like, 
you know, a small coffee table in the middle of the room that I can basically walk around and see all the detail from every single angle. You know, because predators have so much incredible detail, so I feel like that might be the best solution. Granted, I will see when I get it. You know, what if I put it over there and I love it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it actually does work, or whatever. But nevertheless, I think Prime One killed it. I'm very excited now for this statue. I wasn't super happy with the first initial photos, and I actually made a video pissed off about it. But I held off posting that video because I wanted to see more photos, and they posted good photos. And I was like, whew, thank goodness. It actually does look amazing. So now I'm actually really excited. So hopefully it starts shipping soon. Might be able to get it this year. Hopefully it ships this year at least because I know UPS is raising rates for next year and probably all the others. So I'm very excited to get it. So, you know, this piece will be highly sought after for a long time once it's like fully sold out, like every version at every retailer. I think it's going to be a highly sought after piece, especially the DX, the one I got on PO with in addition to the closed mouth bust. You know, I foresee that easily selling for 5000 plus in the aftermarket, you know, for like the full set. But anyways, that is my thoughts on the Prime 1 Jungle Hunter. So I will get it in hands. I will compare it to Cinema Cat. And I know I do not plan to sell Cinema Cat. And based off initial photos, I plan to keep both of them. Because I'm a huge fan of Predator. I just watched pretty much all the Predator movies outside of, you know, Predator 2 and the newer Predator and Prey again. But, you know, I love Predators. They're just such a cool creature. I really enjoy the movies. I love the action. And... You know, so I I want to get more Predator statues. I'm like, man, maybe I should get a P2. You know, I was thinking I could get Infinity Studios version to pair with my Infinity Studios Berserker Predator. I was thinking maybe I should get Fugitive One Force to pair with my Fugitive Bust. Ideally, I do want the same amount of aliens as I do Predators, but it's kind of difficult because there's only so many aliens. There's more variety in Predators. Uh, so, you know, aliens, I pretty much got every... Once I get Alien Warrior... I have all versions of Aliens, pretty much. I mean, kind of set there. Anyways, folks, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of Prime One's Jungle Hunter. Hopefully, I'll get it in the next three months. We will see. And I don't know if it's going to go there. There, we'll see when the time comes. But we're definitely going to get it in unbox review and compare it to Cinema Cat. And then I will decide what is truly the better statue of the two. That is it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're looking to buy statues, use the links below, and I'll have, see you in the next one. Have a great day.